It has almost been 20 years since we uh, last had the Asian financial crisis. And market, of course, uh, is thinking that this time it could be different. And if you think about what happened in Venezuela, the concept of contagion has truly disappeared in the market, especially for emerging markets. Uh, but if you think about it, what has been driving the growth in asset prices in emerging markets over the past, I would say maybe a decade or so, has been largely driven by the wall of liquidity that has been coming from the developed markets, especially starting from the Federal Reserve, which has uh, embarked on several uh, episodes of quantitative easing, and then followed by uh, the Europeans. And that liquidity has certainly flow into this part of the world, especially emerging markets where you see asset prices, in fact, really having picked out um, in 2014 thereabout when the Federal Reserve ended quantitative easing. Now what happened, of course, is that after that peak, right, when the market was supposed to kind of try to adjust, it did not because when Trump came into the presidency, the Trump premium for emerging markets started to happen because the international investors started to diversify. Right? When they earlier thought that perhaps it would be good to focus on the U.S. because after all, U.S. is a country uh, where you have the monopoly of ideas and capital was supposed to flow to the U.S. It did not because Trump uh, essentially was providing a lot of the political uncertainties uh, that made people felt that perhaps they should spread their investment uh, across the globe. And that benefited emerging markets. And if you look at how emerging market assets have been uh, uh, kind of performing, uh, it started to break its previous peak only in 2017. So this time is different, it's truly quite far-fetched. Uh, because if you think about it, if liquidity is the one that has been driving asset prices higher for the last 10 years or so in emerging markets, then we're only waiting for moments where this liquidity starts to unwind. The Federal Reserve is already starting its normalization of its balance sheet. The ECB is probably going to start the process pretty soon. And if that liquidity starts to end, perhaps we'll now feel the full impact on emerging markets. And this time, after all, it may not be that different.